So welcome to Blonde Bombshell Q&A number 62, letter B. We're going to do all 7 through 20 questions and then it's time for some relationship advice. Number 7. Do you listen to podcasts? Sometimes, not all the time, but it's usually Dr. Phil's podcasts. Do you have a favorite holiday? Why or why not? I enjoy every season as they happen. Um, I would say I used to have favorite holidays. Now it's just going to be get through the holidays. Today, how did you make a difference? I love that question. Um, anybody who knows me knows that my pet peeve is when people act rude by either leaving their trash behind on the table after they've ate or when they leave a cart outside a shopping center that would take them like two minutes to go in and open the door up and put the cart back in for somebody else to use. Um, even leaving a powered cart outside. So uh, today, how did I make a difference? We went to B&D and several people would leave their carts outside. I think the heat was their excuse, but I would always make sure to return the cart for them uh, just because I think of myself going in there and no carts being available. You got to stop and think about the other person in this world. Rarely do people do that nowadays and I hope to encourage that with these videos. You are going back to the gazelle on Saturday. What will be your new workout plan? Great question. Um, yes, I'm going back to the gazelle which is a elliptical machine on Saturday. Um, to incorporate this, I'm going to start doing it slowly and putting my bike miles back, but right now I plan on still doing approximately maybe 10 miles tonight and 10 miles Friday night, uh, but Saturday night that's when I will cut back the bike miles and definitely look at the gazelle as full hearted and have to work it in and judge it in. I really don't know the plan yet, so you'll just have to keep up with me. Um, let's see here. What phone app do you use most? I would have to say Facebook. It's like Facebook is my go-to right now. What do you regret not doing in the last year? You know, if there's one thing I've learned it's that relationships are not all one person is guilty and the other person is innocent. Um, relationships are 50-50 and you have to be really willing and able to look at your heart and your soul to be into a relationship. Um, I think a regret that I'll always have is the way I've handled previous relationships, but one in particular, because I jumped to conclusions and I assumed the worst and not giving the benefit of the doubt, and I was my own worst enemy. And sorry is never going to be enough to cover it. Um, if I could, <laughs> I know I've said this a million times, I know I've written songs, I've posted them to YouTube. I've tried everything in my power, but it's, it's amazingly hard for me to admit fault and I'm not perfect. And even myself, I can give the best advice, but it's hard for me to take it myself. I guess I'm just going to go throughout my life and just be happy if I can adopt because my biggest regret is my greatest fear, not being able to work things out with the man that I wanted to work things out with. Okay, what emoji best captures your essence? Right now it's the eye roll button. I'm, I mean, I really think that Facebook needs an eye roll button, just saying. Uh, what's your favorite song that you never get sick of? I have a lot of those. Um, if we go back into time, 
there's some Statler brothers, there's Conway Twitty, there's Waylon Jennings, there's Bill Anderson, but um, more modern day, I would have to say, I'm really loving that Get Up song by Blanco Brown, so we'll go with that. Are you ever judgmental? I am sad to say I have been judgmental. I wish I wouldn't have been in some situations, but it is what it is. Do you answer your cell phone when you don't recognize the number? I have this new thing, okay? And I probably should have had it all along. Um, I, if you send me a friend request and I don't know you from Adam, I'm not going to accept you. If you call me or text me from a cell phone and tell me that you're a person, I'm probably most of, most of the time not going to believe you anymore. Um, I have learned that people are sick and twisted and they often do things to cause pain and suffering any way they can inflict it. So my trust levels are definitely down. They're not what they used to be whatsoever. And um, I probably won't answer. And if you don't leave me a message or leave me a text message, I probably won't return your call or text you back. What is the last thing that really moved you? That would have to be watching Dog and Beth on the Hunt, or I get, no, sorry, I get their new show mixed name up. Dog at Most Wanted. And seeing Beth out there being so brave to share her journey with us of cancer to also her compassion and where mercy is shown, mercy is given. She clearly has illustrated that when she hugged that felon and gave him a pep talk just to see that kind of emotion from her was just overwhelming and I did cry. Do you like social media or think it's ruining society? I think it's 50-50. Um, I think that there there's moments that it can be motivational, that it can be uplifting, that it can be really great, but just like in life, there's always good with the bad. There's moments that social bullying happens. There's moments that people are sick and twisted that they will take things and turn it five ways from the way it was originally. And then it gets told to somebody. And then by that time, that person believes all this rigmarole so much that they won't talk to the original person. And that is so sad. It just makes my heart break. Does getting older scare you? Absolutely. I would be lying if I said no. Since your American Consumer Credit Counseling, are you a spender or a saver? I have a savings account now, and I would like to say that I save more than I spend, especially with um, upcoming expenses. Uh, I don't want to get into too much detail. Just know that things are going to be okay. Because... I've struggled and I've always persevere and rise above. Things will be okay. Uh, next up, we're going to do some relationship advice. You don't want to go anywhere. Stay tuned.